<laughs> I came to rescue you, dear princess. And for you, I shall be the noblest of all servants. Oh, no, not again. They always have to do their show when I'm taking a nap. Sultan. <laughs> in this house. It's him. It's his fault. He won't give me back the book. Uh, are you gonna give him his book back or what, you gutter frog? are dead. Don't be silly. It's frozen just like them. <laughs> Nothing wakes them up. It's all the fault of that witch. She's the one who tore the book. Oh. <laughs> Say that again, you pimply toad. <laughs> Disgusting old witch! Rotten old bag! Dirty dust mate! That Too late and gone like that! Best pull! Stop! It would seem that when we tore the book, we froze the lives of all the characters in it, including Cinderella's fairies and ogres. It would appear that the book was a link between Fairyland and this world. But we must have been protected by our respective pieces of the book. We've got to move them so no one will see them. <laughs> At least no one will bother us in the basement. So that means no matter what you say to them, they can't react? What exactly are you thinking, Auntie? Oh, nothing. Hey, do you mind carrying your weight back there? <laughs> 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 I've got to go to school. And for Osha, you keep an eye on them, okay? Oh, you can count on me. I'll take very good care of them. <laughs> you don't think Aunt Ferocia would take advantage of the situation, do you? Ferocia? Take advantage? No. <laughs> Look at that cute little guy. No in my face, goody goody lectures, huh? <laughs> this is my lucky day! <laughs> so, you big fat tubbelard, not so tough now, are ya? <laughs> Brother, aren't you? Well, where is she? She was supposed to loan me her new boots for my date tonight. Uh, she got a cold, so she couldn't come to school today. Oh, wait a sec. I'm coming with you. I can get them from her at home. No, I don't think that's possible. She's, uh, she's lethally contagious. Ew. She's covered with enormous oozing bumps and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> In 
So? They behaved like angels. That's weird. I don't remember Dad being like this when we left. He must have just tipped over. I tried to fix him up, but he's just such a mess, your father. Hmm. What's gonna happen to us if they never wake up? We could use them as garden gnomes. That'd be pretty. <laughs> Tom, I'm sure that we're going to come up with a solution. Look at Sleeping Beauty. She finally woke up thanks to Prince Charming. Huh? <gasps> of course! That's the solution! Prince Charming! Only a kiss from a prince can wake up those who have been put to sleep with a spell. <laughs> a prince? Willing to kiss Gregor? <laughs> and where, pray tell, are you going to find your prince? The book of fairy tales is broken. In volume two of the fairy tales. Ah, here it is. Ah, uh, it's only a drawing? Do you understand? It's not real. <gasps> so what? It's because of a book that Dad and Mom and Cindy got turned into statues, so there's no reason we can't get the prints out of this book. So, gooly gooly gla gla boo boo. So, gooly gooly. I saw Mom do this once to make her cheese souffle rise. up the dead. Then you're my savior! Whoa! Dad! Mom! Cindy! Look who I brought you! Who is that? A prince. That's a prince? Look at him! Uh, at least he doesn't have a web feet. <laughs> Dad? Mom? Cindy? I'd like to introduce you to... Uh, what's your name? Just call me Mr. Charming. <clears throat> so, who do I kiss first? Well, we can start with my sister. Is she a princess? Because I only kiss princesses, you know. Yeah, she is. Out of the question. I only kiss princesses, not married women or bearded guys. Listen, they'll let you kiss them. Hey, you'll let them, right? Yes. See, they said yes. Well, the answer from me is no. On the other hand, if that princess is looking for a prince... Not even in your dreams, you stink bomb, you! Mm -hmm. Well then, I'm gonna go kiss me another princess. There's plenty of them lining up for me. No! No! Hey! I'm a prime prince! But not at prime freshness. <laughs> Bring him close to Dad! Why does he smell so bad? Most Fairyland princes are quite lacking in the personal hygiene department. No! Oh. Ah! It's working! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Ferocia! Did you think I was asleep during the little makeover you gave me? You'll be delighted to know I wasn't! Oh. 
He's talking, but he's not moving. I don't understand why his kiss only half worked this time. Yeah, well, he's gone now. No, we still need him. Help! I've got pins and needles in my legs. Oh, this is what my new kingdom looks like. <laughs> what is that, a carriage without a horse? Say there, Buster, did you see the red light? Red light? Red light? That must be the barbarians attacking. Where are my knights? Donnelly to headquarters. We got a loony on the loose from the asylum. Send me a couple of nurses quick. Huh? <laughs> What's this? You don't kneel before your prince? What? I order you to kneel immediately. Are you crazy or something? What kind of kingdom is this where the women are so angry? Don't they adore princes here? Listen, Cindy, you're our only hope. You're the only one who can sweet talk the prince. And what do I have to do? Nothing. Just be nice to him. Okay. If you take over my dishwashing duty for two months, and I get your dessert for the next 300 meals... You strike a tough bargain. But, okay, don't move. I'm gonna go look for him. You should be able to find him easily enough by the smell. Elf's workshop! Hey, you! Elf! Go and fetch your master for me. Oh, dear. We shouldn't have any problem finding him! He'll stick out like a sore thumb! <laughs> Why don't you take off your shoes and I'll measure your foot to make sure we have the perfect size for you. Back off! Cunning elf. Think you're gonna trick me like that? I'm prince of this kingdom. Your magic will hold no sway with me. Walter! Kisses only work on young ladies, and for some strange reason, it half works on ogres. I think there was some ogre royalty in my background. Oh, and it kind of works on inanimate objects, but no effect whatsoever on married women, fairies, witches, or bunny rabbits. No idea why. Just the way it is. You mean I've been nice to you for nothing? Thanks, Tom. What exactly did you tell him anyway? That you're going to marry me. Exciting, isn't it? <laughs> 
well, I'll just leave you two alone. <laughs> Get back here, you rat! I was thinking about a big, grandiose wedding ceremony with troubadours, jugglers, and... Isn't anybody gonna ask for my opinion? Now, calm down, honey. Being frozen makes you so sensitive. God, you so much. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hang on a minute. If it works on inanimate objects, then it should work on the wand. Don't be silly. That's just a wand. <laughs> <laughs> And me chasing my bride to be? Sure, just as soon as he kisses the wand. <laughs> huh? ah! Great, it works again. Ah! Stay away from me! Oh, come on, what's one little kiss? <laughs> Abracadabra, Dabri, Dabro! Ah, Ferocia. Going to be back to my old self in a few minutes. Bet you're delighted to hear that. Uh... Quit talking, Dad! You're making me lose my concentration! Uh, perhaps we can wait a bit? We're not in any rush, are we? Back to their old selves they go! Little boy, how good it feels to take you in my arms again. <sighs> well, uh, <laughs> I'm out of here. Oh, no, you don't. This big fat tub of lard has a few things to say to you. Now I've got to quickly send the prince back into the fairy tale book, and everything will be back to normal. <laughs> It's great to see you back in shape again, Dad. Huh? What's the matter, my son? Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. It's really hard to start using the old limbs again. Ah! Oh, no, what's gone wrong this time? What did I say in the spell? Something about being back to their old selves. Oh. I don't understand why the wand isn't working anymore. It seems to have frozen again. Well, that so-called prince did say his kiss only sort of works on inanimate objects. Hurry up! I have the feeling I'm getting older as we speak. I can't take it anymore. Get rid of him! He stinks like a garbage dump, and his breath smells like a camel. That girl is unbearable. She talks back to me, she protests, and she won't kneel before me. Oh, shut up, you bum! Oh, look how cute they are. Why, they're not even married, and they're already getting along marvelously. I've had enough! I'm going home! Why would I want to marry that shrew? <laughs> That's the best news I've heard all day! And where might home be? Where do you think? In the book of fairy tales, of course. Whatever. It's not as if he's any use to us anyway. Oh, I know, but he has the fad. The what? The vial attached to his belt. I'd recognize it anywhere. It's fad. Fix anything dust. It does exactly what it says it does. It's the best magic powder on the market. Quick, stop him! I'll get him! <laughs> hey, who are the old geezers? Your parents. <laughs> no! Stop! I have an idea. If I find a real princess for you, one who's docile and beautiful, will you give me a bit of your magic powder? A real princess who won't kick me? Uh-huh. Don't move. I'll be right back. <laughs> Look who I've got, Mr. Charming! My princess! <laughs> Thanks! Uh, I'll leave you guys alone. <laughs> So much.
much younger. Look, I'm flying again. I'm as light as a feather. And I feel great. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, this one's more of a heavy sleeper than the others. She must have eaten a really big poisoned apple. <laughs> and from now on, you don't touch it. You understand? You don't touch it. Aha! I've got the legs of a 20-year-old again! Come back here, Barosha! I've repaired it! I've repaired it! Look! I've repaired the book! It's just like new! Yeah! We got that! Uh, then again, book repair has never been one of my strong points. 